Hello YouTube family, welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel, in my closet, where I do, where I speak about fashion, hauls, styling, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, please continue watching. Today I am going to be participating in a tag. This tag was started by A Soneo, and I was actually tagged by A Soneo. And I just feel so, I mean, privileged or excited to have been tagged by the creator of this tag to participate. I am just so, so grateful to her for reaching out and thinking about me to participate in the three best luxury items that were purchased in 2020 and the one worst item. I'm just grateful that you consider me a part of the luxury community. So thank you so much for that. So let's jump right in and get started. The first best are my Balenciaga pumps that you would have seen in a video reveal of my Balenciaga pump reveal. Here these beauties are. They are in this beautiful silver metallic color and style. They have this square back detail and I want to say a four inch heel. I have not worn these yet, but with the holiday season approaching, although I'm going nowhere, I am certain that I'll be wearing these. Looking down at my feet, knowing that I have these on will certainly spark some joy in me. I definitely feel that this was one of my best purchases of 2020. My Balenciaga pumps are a best. Next best is somewhat of a lesser known brand, but it is my Sync Accept Blazer. These blazers retail for around 500 American dollars. I came across this during the Neiman Marcus going out of business sale. I believe I purchased this in late August, early September. I've already worn it four times. I absolutely love this blazer with this ruched sleeve, the gold metallic coloring. I just think it matches with so much. I feel so excited when I wear it. I absolutely love this blazer. This is by the brand called Sync Accept and um, I absolutely love it. They have this style in so many different colors from like blues to greens. I think there are even some reds. It's absolutely fantastic. And I was so excited to be able to find this on sale. Again, the brand is Sync Accept. If you can get your hands on one, you will not regret it. I would say size down. I'm usually a six and I purchased this in a size four. Definitely a best. This is my second best buy of 2020. And my third best, my third best buy of 2020 would come as no surprise. It is from Chanel. As we know, I love Chanel. And that purchase would be this pre-loved red bag that I picked up from The Real Real. Again, I have not been able yet to carry this bag or to wear it, um, but I can tell that I absolutely will love it once I do begin wearing it. It fits up here on the shoulder, which I kind of like. Um, I can also take the stuffing out, wear it down here, kind of like this, which is kind of one of my preferred ways of carrying things, sort of as a clutch. It has this huge oversized ruthen ruthenium CC logo and this exaggerated stitched detail and the hidden chain strap. 
I do have a video revealing this as well. I think it's called New Chanel Purchase or New Chanel Bag, something like that. Um, I'll definitely link it somewhere or include the title somewhere along here. So I won't speak too much about it. This is my third best favorite purchase of 2020, my Chanel bag. And now for the worst, which is kind of a worst, I'll explain, but maybe not a worst. So I'll, I'll get into it. Um, it is my Manolo Blahnik. Cue the sad music noise. I know everyone loves Manolos and I am certainly no different. I purchased these, this particular pair of Manolos back in June. As you can see, I haven't really touched them at all. And so, oh my goodness, they're actually still completely in the dust bags. I did also reveal these in my Neiman Marcus haul um, because I did intend on wearing them and I still do. These, I'm so sorry, okay, these Manolo mules are in the Mesale, I hope I'm saying that correctly, style. They are not the more popular Hangisi style. And again, they are in a mule style with a kitten heel. Um, I believe that the material that they're made from is not necessarily the satin that is familiar with the Hangisi pumps. I think that this is more of like a gross grain pump, which may be a bit more durable. I love, 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 love the style of this shoe. The jeweled detail, the pointed toe, these tabs here on either side. I like the heel height. I love the navy blue color. I love the sophistication. These shoes are so beautiful and I believe that I could wear them with so many different things. However, I have not done so. And I wonder if it's because I am not really gravitating towards mules. There is something about wearing them that seem effortless but actually require more effort. So I think that may be why I have not worn them yet. I believe that if they were a traditional pump style like the Hangisi style, I may have worn them already. I'm I'm honestly not sure. I, I can't sit, well, I will definitely wear them. I'm not going to send them back again. I've had them since June. But maybe the reason why this is a worse purchase is because I jumped on it really quickly because they were on sale. I think they retail for $8.50 or $7.95 and I was able to get them for around $550, which is a significant savings. But just because something is available at a savings, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily the right item for you. So if I had given a little bit more thought and some time, I very likely would not have purchased these. And that is why they are considered my worst purchase of 2020. But if you're following me on Instagram, you will see me wearing them because I will make the most of them and I will wear them. So stay tuned. My Manolo Blahnik Mesale pumps in, I'm sorry, Mesale mules in this navy blue color. This tag was so much fun. I thank you again so much, Asoneo, for tagging me. I can't even tell you, when I received the DM, I was just so, so flattered and excited. And, and so thank you so much. I hope that I was able to do your tag some justice. I wanted to be very careful about duplicating items that I've already shown because I had recently filmed a video on um, regret or repurchase the, some of the luxury items that I received last year for the holidays and I just wanted to make sure that I was not repeating all of the same items over and over again because I want to ensure that I'm always giving you all something new something fresh and something exciting and just showing you a little bit more of what's actually in my closet so again I thank you all so much for joining me. Oh, 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 I'm going to be tagging some fabulous people 
below. I will put those names down in the description box and anybody who whose information I have for Instagram, I will also be tagging you there. If for any reason I neglect to tag you and you would like to participate, please go on ahead and participate, but make sure that you tag Asoneo so that she's aware that you're participating in this really fabulously wonderful tag that she created. And again, thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Have a great week.